If you find yourself constantly scrolling through social media between tasks, feeling tired and overwhelmed every day, or restless when you're idle and often comparing yourself to others, you might benefit from five lessons drawn from the life of a legendary Japanese samurai, Miyamoto Musashi. These lessons can help you realign with the right path and free yourself from the guilt of not always being highly productive. But before diving into each lesson, we need to understand who Musashi was and why he's considered a model of discipline. Miyamoto Musashi was an outstanding samurai, undefeated in over 60 duels, proving him to be an exceptionally disciplined martial artist. His legacy extends beyond combat, though. Musashi also left behind influential works, including The Book of Five Rings and Dokodo, The Path of Aloneness, where he delves deeply into mastering the mind and improving oneself, not just for battle, but for life itself. The first lesson, master the basics. In the Book of Five Rings, Musashi emphasizes the importance of grasping the fundamentals. He once said, if you know the way broadly, you will see it in everything. Musashi believed mastery comes from a deep understanding of foundational techniques, and he practiced these basics so thoroughly that they became second nature enabling him to react swiftly and accurately in combat. In your own life, discipline is the ability to persist with the basics, the things that seem easy, but require time and consistency. Many people tend to overcomplicate their goals to the point of feeling overwhelmed, and they never get started. Tim Ferriss, in the four-hour work week, once advised that when setting goals, you should begin with the easiest steps. Therefore, Clearly define the fundamental tasks and stick to them, and you'll surpass those who quit because their plans were too complex. Imagine you're aiming to lose weight and get fit. Alongside you, a friend has the same goal, but you both approach it differently. Your friend hires an online coach and follows a complex plan covering nutrition and workouts, while you simply watch a short video on basic exercises and start applying it. You stick to a routine of simple, consistent movements, working out four days a week and resting for three. Meanwhile, your friend spends hours trying to keep up with the intricate program, but eventually gives up. After two months, you've gained significant strength with your simple routine, while your friend has already quit. Simple, consistent steps often yield more lasting results than complex, unsustainable methods. Musashi showed that mastering the basics is the foundation of long-term success. In both life and work, if you can identify and focus on the core essentials, you won't get lost in complexity and you'll gradually achieve greater goals. Musashi not only left behind the legacy of an unbeatable warrior, but also became a symbol of unwavering discipline, a quality anyone can adopt to elevate themselves in any field. If you were to ask your friend why they gave up, they'd likely say, the program was too difficult and complicated, I ran out of time. This is where you gain the upper hand, by consistently practicing the basics, the simple, manageable tasks, over a long period, you will achieve more and learn more than those who overcomplicate things. When things become easy, you can gradually shift toward higher challenges. With this approach in mind, let's move to the second lesson. The second lesson is about embracing solitude for personal growth. Miyamoto Musashi spent many years living in solitude, honing his skills and reflecting on his experiences. In his work Dodokodo, The Way of Walking Alone, he wrote, think lightly of yourself and deeply of the world. Musashi used his time alone to introspect and refine his abilities, gaining clarity and focus in the process. It was during these moments of isolation that he experienced the most significant progress in his personal development. You might argue that humans are social creatures and living in isolation is impractical, but I'm not suggesting you become a hermit or retreat to a mountaintop. Instead, the emphasis is on creating space for self-reflection and confronting yourself. When we are constantly surrounded by others and their voices, it's difficult to find the quiet necessary to truly analyze who we are and how we're progressing. The noise of other people's opinions can drown out the signals you need to accurately gauge your own development. From Musashi's teachings, 
I learned that whenever I need to think deeply about my work, generate ideas, or reassess myself, I set aside a specific time each day to focus. This is when I confront the reality of what I've achieved and what I still need to work on. Don't mistake this solitary time for laziness or rest. It's the moment to set clear goals, build systems to achieve them, and assess what needs improvement. Solitude here isn't about escaping. It's about giving yourself the push you need, like a friend standing behind you when you hesitate. The third lesson is consistency in practice. Musashi believed that the way lies in training. His unwavering dedication to daily practice kept him in a state of peak readiness and exceptional skill, as evidenced by his undefeated record in over 60 duels. What does this mean for us? First, no matter how many times you perform the basics, you should never stop. Many people think that once they've mastered the fundamentals, they can relax and slow down. In reality, there is no such thing as complete mastery. The moment you believe you've reached the top, you stop progressing and overlook areas where you could improve. In the sport of jiu-jitsu, legendary fighter Roger Gracie demonstrated the power of sticking with the basics. He focused relentlessly on simple techniques that were difficult to counter, while others quickly grew bored and moved on to more advanced methods, unwilling to let boredom beat them. Consistency in practicing simple things builds the most solid foundation for growth. This is also the final lesson Musashi wanted to convey, that true discipline isn't about mastering complicated tasks, but about the commitment to simple daily actions until you achieve an unshakable level of strength and confidence. What truly makes you great is the understanding that discipline is built from continuously practicing the basics over a long period. Once you realize that maintaining simple tasks is all you need, you'll find yourself eliminating unnecessary complex plans and begin enjoying the progress you're making. The fourth lesson is strategic thinking and planning. Musashi was not only a master of physical combat, but also a master of strategy. He approached each fight with a clear plan and a deep understanding of both his own strengths and his opponent's weaknesses. The lesson here is that achieving success in any area of life requires not only hard work, but also smart, thoughtful planning. A clear strategy helps you maximize your efforts and ensures that every action you take is purposeful. Whether you're working toward personal goals or professional achievements, having a plan allows you to navigate challenges and seize opportunities effectively. Musashi's life is a testament to how solitude, consistency, and strategy work together to create not just a formidable warrior, but a disciplined individual who is able to apply these principles to all areas of life. Each lesson builds on the previous one, reinforcing the importance of mastering fundamentals, embracing personal reflection, practicing relentlessly, and always thinking ahead. When you bring these teachings into your own life, you'll find that steady progress and long-term success become achievable, not through shortcuts, but through disciplined action and strategic planning. In the Book of Five Rings, Miyamoto Musashi emphasizes the critical importance of strategy. He says, there is more than one path to the top of the mountain. Musashi's disciplined approach to strategy involved careful planning, foresight, and the flexibility to adapt. He always explored multiple ways to achieve his goals and was prepared for any scenario that might arise. This strategic mindset prevents you from burning yourself out without making progress, which can erode your spirit and diminish your discipline over time. Having a clear plan with realistic goals and strategies for achieving them within set timeframes, such as three, six, or 12 months, ensures faster progress. It also allows you to adjust your goals according to real life changes and prevents you from losing direction. For example, if you aim to improve your writing but lack depth in understanding the practice and the necessary systems to support it, maintaining discipline and sticking to a consistent routine will be extremely challenging. As Tim Ferriss suggests in the four hour work week, setting specific goals for three, six and 12 months and tracking your progress is essential. This keeps your objectives grounded and measurable, allowing for better focus and productivity. 
The fifth lesson is about focus and eliminating distractions. Discipline isn't just about completing tasks. It's also about recognizing what's truly important and decisively cutting out distractions that don't contribute to your goals. If you set a target to write 10 pages a day, your chances of success are much higher if you write in a quiet library rather than in a noisy bar. Your environment plays a huge role in your success. One key takeaway from Atomic Habits is to designate specific spaces for particular activities. If you want to write, create a dedicated space for writing. If you want to read, do it in a different spot. When you consistently perform tasks in designated places, your mind naturally shifts into the corresponding action mode whenever you enter those spaces. This isn't about becoming rigid or trying to be superhuman. It's about making things easier for yourself. When you attempt to do everything in one place, your mind becomes overwhelmed and loses efficiency. This is one reason many companies want their employees back in the office. Statistics show that productivity increases in 73% of companies when employees work in an office rather than from home. While working from home might seem more comfortable, the data speaks for itself. Looking back at these five lessons, they are deeply interconnected. Once you understand them all, you'll see the bigger picture of how a legendary samurai from 400 years ago mastered discipline. If you truly want to embark on your journey of self-improvement and learn more from Eastern philosophy and Musashi, dive deeper into related content to gain more clarity. Thank you for watching today's video. If you found the content helpful, please like, share, and don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss the latest updates.